Hello and welcome to The Press Room with WCN-TV, brought to you by the Wilson County News. We're your source for community and communication. I'm your host, Julia, the Marketing and Social Media Specialist here at the Wilson County News. Today, we're excited to bring you the Christmas edition of The Press Room. We know it's early in the season, but this is your guide to the holiday plans of Wilson County communities as their events approach. Today, we'll be talking Small Business Saturday, which is today, November 26th, what the city of St. Hedwig, Lavernia, and Floresville have planned for the holidays, hearing directly from city representatives, and what other communities in Wilson County are bringing to the table this holiday season. Remember, you can always subscribe to print, digital, or both editions of the Wilson County News at wilsoncountynews.com slash subscribe so you never miss an edition of your local newspaper. Feel free to follow us where you're watching today so you're always up to date on the press room and our other WCN TV news. Small Business Saturday is today, November 26th, and small businesses all over Wilson County are excited to celebrate with their community. Check out these local businesses today as you participate in Small Business Saturday for great gift finds and more. And remember, when you shop, eat, and drink locally, you're making a difference in your community. Hedwig has been busy planning for the holiday season and is excited to offer their community some safe holiday fun. We're learning about St. Hedwig's plans from City Manager Maria Hernandez. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me here and thank you for the invitation to be here. Of course. So who are you and what do you do with the City of St. Hedwig? I'm the St. Hedwig first City Manager. Oh. I started working there in April of this year. So it's a little bit over six months already, so uh, I love it there. Congratulations. Thank you. It's super Thank exciting. You. And so what are St. Hedwig's plans for the upcoming holiday? To start the holidays with the lighting of the Christmas tree. Again, this is going to be the first one in, in the city, so we're very excited. Yes. We're, right now we're getting ready for that. It's going to be December 3rd at 6.30, but okay. prior to the... Uh, Lighting of the Christmas tree, we're going to have a Christmas tree decorating contest. Oh, sweet. And, yes, sweet. members of the community, residents, business owners, the staff, and the marshals unit are going to be competing to see who is the most creative in decorating the Christmas tree. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And so where is this decorating contest going to be happening? It's going to be at the St. Hedwig City Park Okay. next to City Hall. All right, mm -hmm. and so the tree lighting will take place there as well. There as well okay. at six thirty. We're gonna have. We're very honored to have the East Central High School Choir. Oh, wow. Twenty to thirty members are gonna be coming to sing, and we're gonna have a train for everybody to ride. It's a big enough train for adults and children. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna have pictures with Santa. We're also yes. gonna be having a hot chocolate, apple cider, and cookies for everybody to attend. Wow, so lots of stuff to look forward to. Yes. And it's, so out of curiosity, is this going to be a free event for the public? It's a free event for everybody. Everything that we're going to be doing is going to be for free. We awesome. have awesome um, sponsors. Okay. Uh, we have Frontier uh, Waste Management that sponsor our event. Line Barger, Murray uh, Air Conditioning, and uh, Red Runner Welding. Uh, one uh, other sponsor that we have is R&D uh, Building uh, Company. Wow. Uh, and I'm so grateful with all of my sponsors because being the first time, it was so nice to have sponsors yeah. for the event. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And so what is unique about your city's approach to the holiday celebrations? Uh, the unique part is we're going to be the first uh, city in the area to have a train for everybody to ride. Wow. And like I said, since it's the first event in the city, um, it's going to be a good uh, opportunity for all the community members to come and participate and to meet each other. Because even though uh, they have lived there for a long time, a lot of people, since we don't have community events like this, they don't know each other. So. Right. So it'll mm -hmm. be a good community involvement yes. opportunity. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 
And so what should folks expect to experience at your event? So First of all, nice weather. I'm okay. hoping, I'm praying for no rain that, on that day. Afterwards, it can rain the only one. But <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping for good weather. And uh, like I said, everything's going to be for free. So it's going to be yeah. nice for everybody, a nice community event that uh, people can attend, especially right now that we're a little bit stretched on the money. Yeah. So you can have apple cider, hot chocolate, picture with Santa, all that is gonna be for free. Very sweet, mm -hmm. all right. And so other than looking to the Wilson County News as more information about your event services, where should folks go to learn more about St. Hedwig's holiday plans and keep up with your future developments? They can go to our website at www stheadwickcity.com and also to our Facebook page. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that works perfect. Thank you so much for your time today. And we are so excited to get to share the City of St. Hedwig's holiday plans. Be sure that if you are in the St. Hedwig community to go out and catch this wonderful event that your city is putting on this year. Thank you very much for having me. Of course. The City of Lavernia is excited for their holiday plans. Learn what's in the works from Lavernia's Mayor Martin Poor and Lavernia's Administrative Assistant Ashley Ritchie. Welcome to the show. Thank yes, you. Of course. So who are you and what do you do with the City of Lavernia? Um, my name is Ashley Ritchie and I work with the Lavernia Municipal Development District. All right. And how about yourself? And I'm Martin Poor and I'm the Mayor of Lavernia. Awesome. So what are Lavernia's plans for the upcoming holidays? Well, we lead? have quite a bit, <laughs> yes, so right now, we're actually right in the middle of Small Business Saturday. So if you see, if you drive around town, you see one of these signs, then you know that's a participating business, and you will see some of these around town too. Um, basically, if you don't know what it is, um, we started last Friday in conjunction with Pink Friday. Lots that's of pink. Cute. Yeah. Um, so if you go to one of these participating businesses on our retail road trip map, which you can find on our website or Facebook, um, you can go into the businesses, get a passport, and basically it's a sticker system to where if you go to every five businesses and you are entered into the drawing to win up to $600 in gift cards. And um, then with every $20 you spend, you're entered for more chances to win. That's so, cool. and it goes through this Saturday, which is actually Small Business Saturday. And, and didn't, didn't we do t-shirts? Oh yes, we, this year we did t-shirts to where if you bought one of our MDD shirts, which is said shop local at BTX, um, you entered in a bonus round, so. Very cool. <laughs> and and uh, did I read we had 15 businesses involved? Yes, 15 businesses. Okay, 15 yes. local businesses are involved in that. Wow. And like I said, you can find the map um, on our Facebook and website. Yeah. Awesome. And your website is? Um, www.lavernia-tx.gov. Awesome. All right. That's our website. And then Facebook. I mean, I think it's just. That's our primary yeah, you know, yeah. mechanism for getting the word out is Facebook. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And so after Small Business Saturday, what's happening? Well, we're also in the middle of our toy drive, which okay. is our um, annual toy drive. It ends December 8th. Um, so if you have any new unwrapped toys, feel free to drop them off at City Hall and we're expecting them to December 8th, like I said. And another drive that we're kind of having, um, you know, a lot of people think about the kids during this year, which is all well and great, but you know, we do have a um, retirement home or um, a nursing home in Laverne Country Care Manor. And so this year we're encouraging people to drop off some um, cordless or portable radios. Okay. That's what they were asking this year. So very sweet. Okay, and they can find information about your tribes. Yeah, so you can find everything is going to be on our website and Facebook as well. We even have a link to Amazon for um, a portable radio. I think it's only twelve dollars. Wow. So if anybody has a little extra cash this year, we really appreciate um, any any help. That's awesome. Kind of backing up. So our MDD this year, uh, Municipal Development District. Uh, they had several meetings and, and lots of discussion, uh, really trying to vamp up the city and decorate it more. And I, I, I know anybody that's been around town has seen the, the big blue planter globes that we've had painted, but uh, we've got Christmas decorations this year and uh, they're up and down 87. And uh, they're called sure. flitter discs. Flitter discs mm -hmm. is what they are. Yeah, the so light, we've, yeah. we've done decorations this year and then. Um, 
We've got the Christmas tree lighting ceremony uh, next December 3rd. Saturday evening, December 3rd. Okay. And uh, like we've done in the past, like I did last year, um, I will be looking for, you know, one or two young children to help me make a phone call to the North Pole to see if we can get Santa to actually show up at the park yeah. for the Christmas tree lighting. So we've also, in addition to the decorations, we've also added a new contest. Okay. Traditionally, we used to do the wreath contest, um, but this year we wanted to, again, revamp and, you know, think something different, think outside the box. So we're kind of, um, any business in the city limits or brick and mortar um, is um, eligible to apply. We're doing three things. So basically um, decorating your facade of your building, um, the yard, and under three themes, which is going to be best traditional display, um, gingerbread man theme, and my personal favorite, Clark Griswold theme. So I'm really excited to see <laughs> what people do with that. Um, fun. So to sign up for that, just come see me at City Hall. And again, everything's on our website and on our Facebook. Very fun. Are there prizes for the businesses involved? Yes, we'll be getting plaques at our January um, City Council meeting. Very nice. Very yes. nice. And so, what's unique about Lavernia's approach to holiday celebrations, and especially with all the new things you've added this year? I think the the, the whole MDD approach to getting the businesses involved and doing. I don't know how unique that is across the board, but it's something that we haven't done a lot of in the past, and we're really trying to to move forward and promote that. Um, our Christmas tree lighting, again, it's probably a fairly standard thing that a lot of communities do. Uh, we do try to have the, the snow slide there and actually have some snow in the park, which, you know, is uh, kind of unique to South Texas this time of year. Oh, yeah. Although it has been cold lately and we don't normally get a lot of snow on the ground. So we, we will be doing that. And I think what makes us unique and how we approach it is kind of we have a lot of partnerships. Okay. So, I mean, it's five girls at City Hall, um, usually two or three of us really playing it. But the execution is it's amazing. We have the mayor, city council. We have businesses like HEB sponsoring this year for our tree lighting. The Shed is donating hot cocoa. Wow. We have organizations like the Lions Club who come out. Shout out to Steve Mays, Lynette Best Gray, and Heather Bard. Um, they come and take pictures. Everything's free. Um, take pictures of kids with Santa and Mrs. Claus. Um, Public Works helps out. I mean, we are unique in the fact that we're so small, but we have amazing supporting support system that, you know, a lot of cities don't have. Yeah, that's really great how you're getting not just your businesses involved in, you know, competition, mm -hmm. friendly holiday competition, <laughs> but you're also getting them involved in more of this community growth. Yeah, and one more thing to add. Um, we're also having our annual Santo driving around town. He's usually in a sleigh. Um, and we have a map. We haven't made the new map yet, but it's going to be um, December 14th. And this year, we have a top secret special surprise. Um, yes, that's all, that's all I can say. <laughs> and, and, and on that top secret special <laughs> surprise, um, I had invited our brand new police chief, Donald Kyle, to come down here with us. He couldn't make it because... He's actually investigating some reports about this top secret possible visitor that's going to be there. And we want to be prepared, you know, for, for that, that possible arrival. <laughs> so it sounds like a lot of exciting stuff is going on. So other than the top secret information that you can't disclose, <laughs> what should folks expect to experience at y'all's holiday events this year? Well, um, at our December 3rd event, we're going to be having, like I said, hot cocoa, Santa, Mrs. Claus. Um, we're going to be having the sleds. The, 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 the snow slide. The yeah. snow, which is the biggest hit. <laughs> yeah, that's honest. the big hit. That's where all the kids yeah. line up. Yeah. yeah. Forget Santa. That's the biggest yeah. hit. <laughs> um, and then a coloring station. Um, we, yeah, we have food trucks. I mean, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Awesome. And just to clarify, is this a free event for the public? Yes, Absolutely. everything's free. Well, Except uh, probably the food trucks. Oh, they, yes. They're yes. probably going to want some kind of compensation. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trade you hot cocoa for some hot cocoa. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So in the meantime, as we're gearing up for Small Business Saturday, which is today, so just as a reminder, if you haven't been told enough already, go check out your local businesses and support them. Um, but as you're approaching December 3rd, event is coming up. Where can people go to learn more about your event and to keep up with future developments? Um, they can go to our Facebook, which is, I think, just at City of Lavernia. Um, our website, like we mentioned, www.lavernia-tx.gov. And um, we have an app now. Wow. So please download it. You can find it on the Apple Store or Google Play. Um, and we try to reach out to our citizens as much as possible through that. Uh, especially public notifications and things like that when we got to get something out. If, I kind of rely on it. You know, it, right. it's, they're, they're really quick about getting stuff out on the app when we got to get that information out there. Well, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Glad to know y'all have so many resources. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, thank you so much for taking the time to come down here and share with our community about what Lavernia has planned. Um, thank you so much. Hope you guys can make it out to the city of Lavernia on December 3rd for all of their Christmas events. And don't forget about the multiple drives that they're having as well. So, thank you, Julia. Thank you very much. Next, we're learning about the City of Floresville's plans for the holiday season from Monica Valise, the City of Floresville Secretary, and Ben Reed, the Executive Director of the Floresville Economic Development Corporation. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. <laughs> of course, yeah. So who are you and what do you do with the city? So my name is Monica and I am the City Secretary for the City of Floresville. Um, I serve as a secretary to mayor and council. I'm kind of the go-between between, between mayor and council and um, a lot of the city staff. Um, I deal with a lot of open records requests. Um, I'm basically the record keeper for the city, um, assist the city manager in various different tasks, and then of course, um, run city elections as well. Wow. Yeah. So a lot of stuff going yeah. through your office. <laughs> a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how about you? Uh, my name is Ben Reed. I'm the Executive Director of the Floresville Economic Development Corporation. We're here to assist uh, small businesses and businesses in Floresville with uh, any of their business needs here in the City of Floresville. So awesome. And we're housed at City Hall. Awesome. All right, so now that we have that covered, what are the City of Floresville's plans for the upcoming holidays? So we have a few different things going on. Um, something coming up in the near future. Um, the city is bringing back their Christmas parade. Um, I'm not sure if any of you remember, years ago the city used to hold a Christmas parade in the downtown area. So um, the mayor wanted to bring that back. Um, so we've worked with the Wilson County News, we've worked with the Chamber of Commerce, and we're all kind of getting together and doing just a full day's event um, along with FEDC. So it'll start out with market days, it'll consist of your late night shopping, we'll do a tree lighting, and then of course we'll end the night with the Christmas parade that starts at 7.30 that evening. We are still taking entries for our Christmas parade. We had set a deadline of November 27th, but of course we want to welcome everyone to join us. So we'll take anything after that as well. Awesome. And so what times are these respective parts of your event happening? So uh, the market days will start probably around 4, 4 or 5 o'clock downtown on uh, Saturday, December 3rd. Mm -hmm. Um, that'll be our tree lighting ceremony that night. So, and then from five to seven, while various uh, youth groups and dance uh, groups come and perform uh, on the on the court on the courthouse uh, street between the courthouse and Jalisco's uh, restaurant, and then from there about seven o'clock, we will um, light the tree up. We'll light the tree up and get all downtown lit up for the holidays, and from there uh, they'll go on to the Christmas parade that the mayor and them want to do. But along with that, the Chamber of Commerce will be having their market days downtown as well. They have about 30 to 40 vendors, I think, will be signed up by then. And you can get with the Floresville Chamber of Commerce to sign up uh, for the market if you'd like to do that. Uh, we're also partnering with the Wilson County Library uh, to do like a kids center. We're trying to bring some snow in. Uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. If not, we'll have some bouncy houses or some things for the kids to do that night as well. And it'll all be free for them to, to participate in those events. Yeah. Um, so the Chamber of Commerce is also doing the window decorating oh, yes. contest that evening um, for the local businesses. So if you're interested in that, of course, contact the Chamber of Commerce. They're the ones handling that for that yeah. day. And I think uh, to, to do the window decoration, you get with them. You can go online or a Facebook page, sign up. It's a it's a toy donation to participate in the window uh, uh, competition uh, decorating contest. Uh, first place, uh, EDC will sponsor the uh the winnings, first place, we win $250, second place gets $150, uh, third place gets 100 
And uh, like I said, that, that toy will go to the, the Blue Santa here with the police department. Very sweet. Hmm. And will Blue Santa be present at this year's festivities like he was last year? I believe we'll have Blue Santa uh, available. Uh, and then we're going to also have a, a regular Santa will show up on the fire truck throughout the parade in the Hill Park. And he'll be there for free pictures with the kids throughout the night after the uh, Christmas parade there by the tree downtown. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, some of these local businesses downtown are participating in late night shopping as all of this is going on. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how is that working? What so I know that um, in the past, it's usually done mm -hmm. on a Friday evening whenever we do the tree mm -hmm. lighting. Um, we wanted to kind of revamp it a little bit since we put this Christmas parade into it. So we switched it over to a Saturday. Um, it kind of gives everybody that opportunity to get into the downtown area, you know, and shop your local businesses. You know, yeah. I'm not too sure on the times though. I think I, I, I believe that I believe it's an all day event. So they're trying to make it all day, and they're they're expanding not just the downtown, but businesses along 181 corridor as well. And um, they're gonna. I think every place you shop, register. Don't forget to register. Each store will give a, a door a prize. And this year, our board. Uh, the directors, I want to thank them. They've uh, let me reach out. We're going to do three $100 grand prize drawing Visa gift cards. At the end of the night, we're going to take all the door prize, all the entries, put them in one thing, and draw three grand prize winners that shop locally on Saturday throughout the town. Wow. And so, if I'm not mistaken, that appears in this week's Folsom County News. That's the November 23rd edition. Um, in Section A, there's a whole spread with all these businesses that are participating and where you can register and also how to do that. And so, of course, there's also more information about the Christmas parade and everything yes. about the City of Floresville's events mm -hmm. in this week's newspaper. Keep a lookout for that. But in the meantime, where should folks go to learn more about what's going on here in the City of Floresville for the holidays? So we try to keep the community updated um, with our social media pages. Um, so you can visit uh, the City of Floresville's Facebook page. You can visit the City of Floresville website, and you'll find a lot of information there. Um, another event we do have coming up next Thursday, December 1st, um, we've partnered with the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center. Um, so we will be hosting a blood drive at City Hall from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., I believe it is, on Thursday. Um, we're trying to do them quarterly just to help, you know, the, the blood bank out in their time of need. Um, but any information, any events that we do have coming up, we like to keep them posted on our website and Facebook as well, just to kind of keep, you know, the community and other people that do follow us informed of different things going on here and hopefully draw in, you know, people to our city. Awesome. We do the same thing, social media, website, and then we partner with Wilson County News and try to run ads at our local newspaper to get the word out uh, that way as well. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming to share about your events. We are so excited for what's going to be happening in our hometown. If you're not aware, the Wilson County News is based out of Floresville, although we do cover our whole area. So, Thank you guys for coming, and we hope to see you again soon. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We invited each city in Wilson County to participate in today's show. Unfortunately, not every city could make it in for interviews. However, we don't want to leave anyone out. Before we end today's show, let's check out what the remaining communities in Wilson County have planned for the holidays. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the Press Room with WCN-TV, brought to you by the Wilson County News. For more information about anything we mentioned in today's show, especially the upcoming December 3rd events, see the November 23rd edition of the Wilson County News or the November 30th edition. Or you can visit wilsoncountynews.com. You can also find articles corresponding to each topic discussed today in this video's description.
Remember to follow us where you're watching so you never miss an episode, and consider subscribing to receive print, digital, or both editions of the Wilson County News each week. You can find more news or subscribe at wilsoncountynews.com, or download our app, Go Wilson, to receive updates from our newsroom at your fingertips, as well as City of Floresville resources. The app is available for Apple and Android devices at gowilsonapp.com. We hope you'll tune in for another episode of The Press Room next week. We'll see you then!